Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Riddy, and today we're going to be reviewing another app. This one's called Photomath. Photomath can be used for scanning a problem, and the app solves it for you, and it gives you a step-by-step -step on how it solved the problem. Now, this is a thing I don't see in most apps, and this app is especially... It's very special because this gives you a step-by-step -step on how to do it. Most apps, if you get them for free, it asks you to get premium to actually see the steps. But this app is absolutely free, available on iOS and Android, and it gives you the step-by-step -step without even, ne even having to purchase the premium version of this app if there is any. This app was launched in 2014 by Demir Sabal. Let's get right into this. So I have an example problem right here, which I, I will be using today. There are four main features of this app. The first one, you can type the math problem if your camera isn't working. The next one is the normal method, scanning. I will just scan this, like so. And the answer is x minus 2. And you can actually see the step-by-step -step by clicking on the arrow. And it, gives you, and it gets you to the solution page, and it gives you steps. You can actually see if there is a graph for that kind of problem, and you can actually, if that is a graphable problem, it will give you the graph for that problem. There are three dots on the right which you can use to favorite that problem, share the solution with your friends, you can edit the problem, and you can report an incorrect solution. The fourth thing is you can actually look at your history, you can clear your history, you can look at your favorites. The two main things that I really like about this app is its graphs, which is relatively new. And um, again, I told you about that is basically you just look at it and see if it you know, gives you a graph for it. The next one is the typing. Let's say if your handwriting is really bad and you um, wrote it on a paper like this and the, mm, the camera can't read it, sometimes it just can't read it and it takes a little bit of time and you can actually type the problem instead of scanning it. The one thing that I think is a con um, would be parents might think that kids could use this app for cheating on their homework and not actually do the work and just use this app to get it done for them. Maybe moderate use would be good, um, like if you're struggling with a problem, just, you know, ask that, like, take a scan of it and then, you know, look at the step by step and just kind of like put it away and then if you need it again, just grab it out again. So that would be a good way to like use it moderately. And I think if you use this for every single problem, it becomes sort of like a habit and you don't exactly know how to do the problem on your own if you keep on using this app over and over and over again. So that's just the one con about this app. So that was it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!